This clip from BBC's Life features brown tufted capuchins of Boa Vista, Brazil. These highly intelligent monkeys have transformed ordinary rocks into useful tools that open otherwise inaccessible nuts. The clip also shows young capuchins observing and practicing this process until it is learned. This technique can take up to eight years to learn. This isn't just a demonstration of innovation. It is also evidence of evolution and learned behavior in yet another primate lineage. Tool use is a homologous trait between capuchins and humans, but it's unlikely that it was derived from their common ancestor, which lived over 30 million years ago and was more like a lemur than a monkey or a human. Parsimoniously, it is far more likely that these characteristics evolved independently after these lineages split. This process is called convergent evolution. What was it that prompted this species to inherit the ability to use these tools? An investigation of areas similar to Boa Vista was held to observe the frequency with which capuchins use tools. Researchers found that the presence of abundant anvil sites, limited alternative food resources, abundance of palms, and the habitat of the palms in this region to produce fruit at ground level all likely contribute to the monkey's routine exploitation of palm nuts via cracking them with stones. We can infer from this that the capuchins adopted tool use as it helped it to ensure their survival and reproduction. But is this trait inherent to the capuchin, or is it a random occurrence within this Boa Vista population? An efficient test would be to observe the capuchin in both captivity and in the wild. If capuchins in captivity use elementary tools for scavenging, it is a characteristic inherent to the species and not just a random occurrence. It was discovered that the capuchins in captivity did in fact use sticks, or a system of tubes to receive a treat, much like their wild counterparts who use rocks as hammers and anvils. Tool use and the cognitive ability to make things more accessible and life simpler is not confined to this one population in Boa Vista. Humans also have this predisposition for tool use and learn behavior. It is one of several homologous characteristics that link the capuchin and humans. But there is also another common denominator linking capuchins to humans. The study of the primate phylogeny will show a pattern that the most frequent tool users were more than just dexterous. They were social organisms. The species that used tools was also socially tolerant and worked within a community. To test social learning and learned behavior, there is the invention of the Dorian fruit box, a box that can open two different but equally challenging ways. It was predicted that a monkey would follow the manner in which it has been trained to open the box or has seen others successfully open the box. This theory was proven correct. The capuchin follows in the way it has seen work, it doesn't create its own method. Capuchins are therefore capable of repetition, but not innovation. Also, in the wild, the use of tools to open the palm nuts can take eight years to learn. It involves a lot of trial, but mostly error. Where cognitive growth is rapid for humans, it is slow for the capuchin. So what can we learn from these observations? Researchers have argued that social tolerance is a prerequisite for socially transmitted tool use. A recent analysis of over 80 years of research on the classroom learning setting reveals that children tend to learn better in cooperative, non-competitive settings. Social tolerance and cooperation is what gave Homo sapiens the edge that led us here today. Without the evolution of tools and communication, as seen in the capuchin's behavior, humans would not be the advanced organisms that we are today.